Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island in Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is October 15th, 2014, and we're in Bluffton in the community of Cypress Ridge out on Route 170. It's uh, on the west side of Bluffton near the May River Road. Uh, we're here today to preview this DR Horton home, just been finished, brand new home. Uh, the model is called the Forester. It's listed for sale with DR Horton at $279,750. That's $279,750. This house has 2,643 square feet. And it has four bedrooms, three bathrooms, wood floors, has a granite countertop in the kitchen. It has a gas range two-car garage. We're going to walk through it, see if it could be for you. And it occupies this corner lot. You can see that Cypress Ridge, the full name being Mill Creek at Cypress Ridge, by the way, has sidewalks. Across the street in this direction, I believe that that's a green belt sidewalk going right along on that side of the street as well as the near side. <clears throat> and that's a green belt. Now, D.R. Horton is the developer as well, so all the homes that you see in this community are built by D.R. Horton, and they say that they're the nation's number one home builder. Um, that's a good thing. It means you have a good company standing behind your product. It also means that they know that you won't necessarily be able to wait six to eight months to have them build a new home for you, and that's why they have some homes already built ready to go for those of you who want to move right on in. And this would be one of them. It's located here at Three Hopper Ridge. And I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 39 years of Hilton Head and Bluffton real estate experience. And my name again is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company is Go Gated Realty. I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen and both Gated Community Specialist and Go Gated Realty are federally registered trademarks. Well, Cypress Ridge is not a gated community. However, <laughs> uh, the reason we're here is because I get a lot of demand from families looking for homes in the $200,000 price range, and DR Horton and Cypress Ridge meets that need. They're not the only ones, but my job as a buyer's agent is to keep you informed of the different possibilities. I do not represent DR Horton. I'm just here to show you this house, tell you about it, and when you contact me, we can compare this home to others in your price range, compare other neighborhoods, other homes, other builders, till we find the right one for you. This one might be on your list. I don't know. Let's walk through and, and see what you think. Uh, the house has a very fresh curb appeal. It should. It's brand new. Uh, it has uh, excuse me. It has a vinyl siding for easy care, and we have a concrete driveway up to a vinyl garage door, kind of a carriage style garage door. That hardware uh, is kind of a little bit retro, as into the uh, days of carriages. And we have a concrete walk up to a covered front porch, giving the house a little bit of a traditional look. And we have some stone facing. I should have told you that that's another option included in this house at $279,750. Now the windows are vinyl clad, and those mullions that you see are interior flat mullions, again giving it a bit of a traditional look. We have windows on either side of our front door, and that is a solid wood front door with the triple window there bringing light into our foyer and I think you'll like what you see when we open the door here. Uh, it makes a beautiful entrance into the house and you see several things straight away which uh, many of you are looking for. Wood floors, very popular these days. This house, the entire first floor here other than the bedroom, uh, there is a bedroom on the first floor has wood floors. You do have some wainscoting. We'll see that continue right around in the dining room. You have your stairway to the second floor here with the uh, wrought iron uh, um, balustrade. Very attractive. And this is a big two-story foyer. It goes right on up 
You see you have high ceilings here, full two stories high. The little loggia comes across, that's your uh, hallway that is uh, open to the first floor, comes right on across. This house makes a very uh, pretty entrance. And uh, in the economy category, I have to say that it does have a lot to offer. The, um, uh, everything is new. There's nothing like a new house, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe many of you, when you contact me, say that you want something either new or newer. Uh, you love wood floors, granite countertops. Uh, this uh, Cypress Ridge is also a gas community. Well, here's our dining room immediately to the left. The wood floor goes and fills that room, so when you step into the house, it really makes a good first impression of spaciousness. This being your formal dining room, you have a uh, recessed ceiling with crown molding in the recess. The ceilings are all flat, as you would expect with a new home. And here's your two windows to the front of the house with those flat mullions, giving it a bit of a traditional look. And let's just look back on our foyer here. Now this house has just been finished, but there is still a punch list of items that are being done. So as we look around, I see there that they've touched up the wall uh, up high there. They're gonna be coming back in, doing a little bit of painting. There, there you see the high window in the foyer, bringing light in to this foyer and crown molding right around that high ceiling here in the foyer. Well, let's continue on on the first floor into our living area. Here it is, middle back of the house. Now the, there are um, electrical lights in the middle of every ceiling. Uh, those of you who watch my videos know that I'm a very uh, big, big advocate of the 52 inch ceiling fans, both for energy conservation and for your comfort. So it makes it very easy to change those out, perhaps even a negotiable item with D.R. Horton, I'm not sure. I'm not speaking for them. I'm a buyer's agent, I represent you. That's why I'm suggesting it. Nothing wrong with having these uh, uh, ceiling lights, by the way. It's just I'm, I'm telling you that the uh, fans are better. But what a great kitchen this house has. Look at this, it has all granite tops, the one level counter and breakfast bar that comes around, which seem, people seem to prefer these days. You have the uh, dark, um, coffee colored, sometimes I think it's called espresso or mocha, I'm not sure. Mocha's a little lighter. I'll, I'll stay away from the <laughs> custom terms. It's not my forte, <laughs> but uh, uh, you do have attractive kitchen cabinets. And again, the granite countertop is really, uh, jumps out and says, howdy. It's the kind of thing that most of you are looking for these days. Stone is millions of years old. It's uh, beautiful. It gives a sense of luxury and permanence. I personally like it very much. And our wood floor comes right through the kitchen here. And here's looking then back towards the dining room to the right. That space there with the cabinet above is our, our refrigerator, not included. There is a, a, a pantry there immediately to the left of it. And here's the look from the kitchen out across our living room. Now in the distance, <clears throat> we have the downstairs bathroom, and just to the left of that, we have a downstairs bedroom, which could be a home office. Well, let's just take a closer look at the kitchen before we move on. We have a uh, double stainless sink over here with the swan neck faucet, and this is your rinsing tool that removes and um, uh, rinses things off so you don't need an extra uh, sprayer, as we used to call them. Your window over the sink here brings light into your kitchen right at the sink where you're working so often. And of course your stainless steel dishwasher is immediately to the side. It is a GE brand. Everything is brand new. That's the great thing about having a new house. Your appliances, your heating and air, all your electrical, plumbing, your water heater, heat pumps and so forth, they're all brand new. Well here's your, uh, your gas range. Many of you comment that uh, you are uh, gourmet style chefs, that you really enjoy cooking with gas. Well, you have that here. This is your GE gas range. Makes a pretty picture there with the granite countertops. And here's our GE Space Maker uh, microwave. All stainless steel. 
that's the popular thing today. So many of you are looking for stainless steel appliances. And like I said, this house has to offer what many of you are looking for. The features that many of you are looking for and that cost extra are in this house. And the house is very attractively priced. That's one reason we're here, so that you know about it. And if you're uh, in the market for uh, buying a house right away, well, this one could be for you. Now downstairs, here's uh, our bathroom. It has a tile floor, the same kitchen, excuse me, the same cabinets that we saw in the kitchen with a cultured marble top. The cultured marble is uh, a man-made product, which is a, a resin. It's a, a quartz dust with resin product, which is molded. Uh, that has an integral base in there with the stylish faucet. Very popular product. It's in many of the best homes in the area. Very clean and attractive. Very durable. Fixed wall mirror. And your wall light over that. And then here's your tub and shower, which is a fiberglass product with a horizontal window over that to bring light into your bathroom. Good size bathroom. This would be both your guest bathroom as well as your uh, second, uh, excuse me, your third bathroom here downstairs. And then to the back right in the house, this being a carpeted room, we have that uh, fourth bedroom. Now this one, some people, if they want to have all their bedrooms upstairs, would just use as, a, uh, as an office, possibly as a sitting room. It would be your house to do what you want with it. And it is on the first floor. You know, some people tell me when they're shopping that they're going to have uh, grandma or grandpa come visit during the year. They need to have a first floor bedroom for them. Well, this first floor guest room could serve that purpose. And for others of you, maybe it would be a home office. You have versatility when you have a first floor bedroom. Storage closet here with wire shelving. It's good to have. It's always good to have storage and closets. We have a big storage closet here. This one is your under stairway area. The wood floor goes right on back, turns the corner. Also acts as a uh, coat closet if you want it to be. Lots of storage under your stairway. Let's just take a quick look into the garage. Two car garage with an automatic door opener. Pretty standard for a Hilton Head house. This is what's called a finished garage because it is all sheetrocked and painted. Over in the corner we have our water heater. Again, this is a gas community, so that is a gas water heater. We've seen the gas range, so it's not only convenience, it's also economical. Gas generally costs less than electricity. And here's your whole house cutoff. For those of you who have ever had a flood in your house, you say, oh, I wish I had turned the water off before I left. Well, that's the way you can do it. If you ever get a leak right there, you can just turn the water off right there and make sure that the damage is controlled. All right, so side door to your side of your house. Let's go on and continue our tour of the living area. Take one more look at the living room here. Everything freshly painted, of course, and these uh, flat ceilings go right on across. Well, let's go upstairs. We have three bedrooms upstairs, including a, a large and beautiful master bedroom suite. I think you're gonna like that. I, I personally like it. And again, I don't represent DR Horton, ladies and gentlemen. I represent you as a buyer's agent, just making you aware of this possibility. When you come and meet with me, and even before on the phone or the internet, we're gonna shop hard to find the, the right home for you, be it a new or resale home. Uh, and the cost to you to have a buyer's agent on your side is the same as if you don't have an agent because the commission that I earn is already in the price of every listed property, paid only at closing. Well, here's our laundry room at the top of the stairs. It's, again, the washer and dryer are not included. Uh, that's where your full-size washer and dryer will go in this fiberglass pan over here will go underneath your clothes washer in case there's a leak of some sort. <laughs> and not the, the reason I'm laughing is because I seem to be selling from the negative about what about water leaks? Well, I don't know. It's just good to be prepared for these things, but they really seldom happen. This is uh, your fourth bedroom or a bit of a bonus room really over the garage. 
this is a very large room and many of you would enjoy this I think as a game room or perhaps a, a home office I don't know that would be up to you but you have a uh, uh, two windows at the front, a window on the side. This is a, this room could be versatile for many things. You have your drop-down stairway to your attic here, just over your entrance door, and a big closet with wire shelving so that you can store clothes there, and if you want it as a bedroom, well, it's ready to go. Now, down at the other end of the hallway, here's our loggia, open to the open to the foyer. And by the way, it's worth a close-up to take a look at these beautiful wrought iron metal balusters because uh, I see these mostly in the high-end custom homes in the area. And I'm talking about homes that cost two, three, four times what this home costs. This is another big plus, just a beautiful feature for this home. Here's the look at the foyer, the two-story foyer. The blue plastic there is covering your air duct. One of the things that Horton does with their homes uh, is that like most of the new home builders today, the homes are very energy efficient. They also take special care from start to finish to for in different ways that most only the custom home builders in the past would do. Things like making sure that the earth is compacted properly so your home doesn't settle too much over the years and they uh, do an energy efficient test. It's called a HERS test that uh, measures the energy efficiency of the homes. And we can go into more detail on that when you uh, contact me. This is your uh, second, uh, bed, uh, second bathroom here. It's on the hallway upstairs, so it serves your second or third and fourth, depending, <laughs> depending on how you're counting. This home has four bedrooms, ladies and gentlemen. One down, three up. So here's our hall bath room upstairs. Once again, we have the cultured marble top that we saw downstairs. And set very similar, very similar, if not identical to the downstairs bathroom with the fiberglass tub and the high horizontal light. And now let's go into the master bedroom. This is at the back of the house on the second floor. We have a little privacy jog here. And this is just part of the bedroom. This would be the sitting room area. The main bedroom area is actually over here. So get a load of this. This is a big room, a big suite that has a bit of a separation there, an open wall leading into this sitting area here. Now this brings up some interesting possibilities and I showed this to someone recently who was uh, discussing those. And one of the possibilities, for instance, would be to go ahead and keep that room over there, which is your master bedroom, as just a bedroom, but then maybe to close off that wall with a door coming in here as a kind of an ante room uh, uh, that would be have more privacy for your uh, sitting area, TV area, that sort of thing. Well, this, this room here, here's your master bedroom. And of course, that's where your headboard would go. Plenty big enough for any kind of king-size furniture. You do have a recessed ceiling here with uh, crown molding in that recess. Looking very good. Gives the room a touch of uh, architectural beauty and, uh, and luxury, I guess you could say. You know, a luxury feature. You know, some home builders charge extra for that. Well, here's our master bathroom and it's real nice I think. Tile floor, you have a, a dual vanity here with the cultured marble top for him and for her. Two basins, L shape, big fixed wall mirror there. And our garden tub to the left with a big window for light coming through there, late afternoon sun coming in. Separate shower which is fiberglass with the uh, glass door or the metal frame. And then over here you have your walk-in closet. It's big, very big. It's as big as some bedrooms in some houses. I love to see that. I like having big closets. I bet you do too. And you can make this one even better by adding storage 
uh, space saver type of closet products into this uh, into this closet doubling up on your shelving that would be entirely up to you this one is just given to you with the basic metal wire shelving looking good carpeted room let's take a look at our bathroom from this angle it's light it's bright it's big it is uh, what I would consider a luxury bathroom in some ways for sure and it also has a little bit of volume to it meaning it has a bit of a cathedral ceiling sloped ceiling giving it more volume and uh, I said the, uh, the fan uh, vent is off there they still have a few punch list items here here's a closer look at our shower over here this is a beautiful bathroom ladies and gentlemen again this home is only two hundred and seventy nine dollars and seven hundred and fifty your commode is in the water closet. Your better Hilton Head homes, your larger ones do have the commode privatized, I guess you could say, into its own little room. I call that a water closet. Tile floor goes right in there. Beautiful tile, beautiful tile. These are the colors that many of you are looking for. The soft brown, soft beige, kind of like going to the beach. These are the colors that you want. DR Horton knows that. They are uh, very sensitive to the public needs. This master bedroom is fantastic. The uh, bedroom here giving way to this ante room, whatever you want to call it, has the uh, lots of versatility. When you call me, we can talk about it. I think that the builder will try to accommodate you if you're ready to buy this house and if you'd like to make some changes there, I certainly will help you any way I can. Well, let's go downstairs, finish up. I'll give you my contact information and ask that you call me for any information about this house, this community, any other homes or communities that might fit your needs. And again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company is Go Gated Realty. My uh, cell phone, and please call any time, is 843 684-2933 and my email rich at gogated.com that's r-i-c-h at g-o-g-a-t-e-d dot com and my website is gogated.com and you can search all the homes there in the area uh, at any time but I would just invite you to give me a call or send me an email about your needs, your real estate goals. What are you looking for? Let's work together to find it. I'm a buyer's agent, ladies and gentlemen, with 39 years of Hilton Head and Bluffton real estate experience. And I'm here to help. I'm here to help you in many ways, as is my team of professionals, to help you uh, with your inspection legally, uh, to make repairs, improvements. Once you move into the house, you may want to uh, do some decorating. Uh, who knows? I'm here to help in any way possible. And I'm on your side. You know, the, the every listed home has a agent that represents the seller. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Perfectly okay. It's just that you have a right to an agent and that would be called your buyer's agent the pay that I earn is already in the price of every listed property. So it costs you nothing more. It really makes it a no-brainer to have you bring me on board as your buyer's agent. And one other good reason is because the price that you pay for your house, ladies and gentlemen, it's the same whether you have an agent or not and whether or not your agent is experienced and can really help you or whether that agent is brand new because there is so much information out there about houses for sale not much about agents. So many of you, that's the real challenge I think for many of you is to find a good agent. Well, please keep me in mind. Please keep me in mind and I hope that you'll call me about your real estate needs. Let's work together to meet your goals. And what I generally do is I send my, my buyers a list of properties, a list of homes that can meet their needs in a format that will update automatically and will save you a lot of time. It's the best way to monitor your personal real estate market. Get the bargain that you want, and I'll work hard to make that happen. I'll work hard for you. Let me just tell you very quickly before we sign off about Mill Creek here, Cypress Ridge. Uh, they have some terrific recreational amenities. 
the one that people note most often is the Lazy River. Uh, lots of parents say, boy, their kids have seen that. They would love it. That attracts them to this community. I have that on another video. I would invite you to watch it or just uh, call me and I'll send you a link. Uh, they have a clubhouse here, playground, two tennis courts, a basketball court, uh, some really nice walking areas in this community, uh, a beautiful fitness center with the weights, um, the, all the machines, you know what I'm talking about, the walkers and all that stuff. It's beautiful. The annual HOA here, just $1,320 per year. $1,320 per year, Cypress Ridge in Bluffton. Please call me. Let's work together. Thank you very much for watching this video. It's been a real pleasure showing you this house. The Forester is the model. It's brand new. It's ready for you if you're ready for it. And today is, again, October 15th, 2014. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to hearing from you. 843-684-2933, rich at gogated.com. Thank you.